Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Good morning all. It's Tuesday, July the 16th. And it's uh, welcome to a uh, windy, but nice and mild Mayenne. Uh, yesterday, um, Monday, I went to uh, Durapa to do some, to do <laughs> initially to do some further sanding, uh, but due to the traffic, and I had to go to Brico uh, to get some supplies for boxing in. Um, I, I just didn't get anything done. It, it was just ridiculous. So today I'm at home. I've got some groundwork to do. I've got some trimming back, trimming back here. And this bay tree, I've got to trim right back because it's starting to take over. Do some washing. I've got another two loads to do you know part of house duties uh, oh I don't know whether you can see that behind me that that is like a, a part of a rubber mat of some sort <clears throat> it was rolled up and um, it was it was in that pile over there along with loads of other debris and this which I've shown you before so I'm going to uh, cut that up to measurable sizes because we can we can use it uh, to st stop weed growth. It, okay, it's not porous; it will literally stop every anything. So, but I've got to do that. I've also got to. I haven't got much time in the day either. Um, I've also got to level off and reset some driveway stones. I've got a high patch there. I've got to just dig them out a bit more and level them off and a bit of a high patch there as well uh, and then I've got some sand and I'm going to fill, backfill backfill along the edge where I've had to carve out the ground uh, and then if time will allow I've got to reprogram our, uh, our bridge network boxes which is one on the jeep there probably can't see it one on the jeep there can you see that oh yeah it's there there and I've got to reprogram the one on the on the side there ideally ideally I'd like to put this one because the missus thinks it's an eyesore I'm fine with it up there where that light is so it faces the machine yeah. it's got to be within 60 degrees so at the moment it's pointing straight at it but because I've moved them about and fiddled with them I need to reconfigure them so I've just got to take them down and repair them and that's it and I've got a wireless router in the standalone wireless router in the uh, in the sheet whereby it picks off it picks up the bridging network then transmits the internet around the jeep that's how i do it that's how i have been doing it but because i've been fiddling all the configuration has gone to pot so i've got to do that and uh, if i remember to record i'll record anyway catch you later It's a bit windy out here. Let's go into Dave's workshop. On other news, um, uh, we may have found, um, we may have found some new parents to adopt Una, um, courtesy of through the wife's uh, work because the work, wife's work sponsors Handy Shout. Uh, which is great, and uh, the prospective new uh, parents, I suppose, of uh, Una, have watched her from um, day one, day one. 
and uh, I met them personally uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, they're going on holiday and when they come back from holiday I think um, they want to uh, think about taking her on and uh, they've seen photos they, they know they know all about her and her good traits uh, excellent traits I would say and um, they're not so many bad ones and there aren't many bad ones in fact there's hardly any she's she's just great um, it's just a shame that we can't keep her we can't I've told you why um, but uh, so that got the missus in tears um, but in a good way in a good way so um, it's it's looking really positive really positive and uh, they've got a cat they've got kids etc uh, which will be a new experience for for Una um, but um, yeah they, that's just fantastic news anyway I better I better uh, get my arse into gear I've got loads of stuff to do so I'll catch you later that bit done a few more to go well tree done so it, I tell you what this uh, I forgot what it's called now oh what is it called anyway it's uh, oh, I'm losing my mind I'm losing my mind uh, oh you had it to foods oh. um, I'll get back to you take two a tree <laughs> oh I just went a blank that's it just went a blank uh, so the uh, the bay tree is done you're gonna ask me how I got up there aren't you probably not because I don't get any comments <laughs> but I got up there using this it's extendable twice extendable here and extendable here here and here great little tool at the moment it's um, I'm not sponsored or anything but um, I've become a fan of Iron Hill power exchange tools lately uh, I say lately over the past year because I'm fed up of using uh, petrol mix and stuff like that um, it's not as noisy and it, it does just as good a job um, at the moment at the moment the jury's out I've used this um, hedge trimmer now for oh, full-on the last couple of weeks full-on and um, touch wood touch wood touch wood it's been good so far good so far now it's not the top of the range um, hedge trimmer or uh, by far but um, the experience of the tools that I've been using from the Iron Hill Power Exchange brand has been positive so far positive I'm, I'm, I'm suitably impressed but I've not used them in anger um, but uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with this tool at the moment the only problem and it's not a it's not a tool problem it is they're a bit heavy when you fully extend it 
it becomes quite cumbersome, especially if you've got a dodgy shoulder like uh, like moi. So, but it's really good. It's quick, easy. You don't have to faff with petrol mixes or anything like that, and it does the job. So uh, I've also walked around the pond, and there's a few areas down there which needed uh, cutting back. So. I'm now going to clear up. I don't think I'm going to have time to reconfigure my uh, uh, wireless bridge today, but I'll, I can do that tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And then I mean, I'll do it up in the afternoon. So uh, that will probably conclude today's video. Um, I'm sorry it's no DIY, but again, I'm still still trying to get my ducks in order for that. I've got a friend coming over for, uh, from way back from the military uh, when we were in the military together. Uh, he's coming over um first week in, first or second week in august uh he's staying in the jeet so that could be interesting uh he doesn't know what uh <laughs> what he's going to do yet but uh i know what he's going to do he's going to be uh cutting back uh a border hedge which is about uh 150 200 meters long and he's cutting back once a year and uh He's going to be doing that. He's not going to know what's hit him. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, that's if he's up for it. Hopefully he will be, uh, because we'll both be doing it. So we'll just have to keep an eye on each other, because one of us is going to have to hold the ladder. That's how tall it is. Anyway, uh, I will love you and leave you, and uh, I will um, catch up with you soon. Cheers. Bye. Right, it's five to five in the evening. On the Tuesday. Same day. Van is full. I don't know whether you can see that. Full of green waste and uh, fortunately for us because we live um, in well it's, it's near me in town we live in Moulay and uh, in Moulay there's a deposit depository anyway um, where you can um, get rid of your green waste and it's two huge containers and uh, it's literally in, in Moulay town and it's so handy it really so handy because it's literally a five minute trip as opposed to a 20 minute there and a 20 minute back for, for the uh dechettery um so if it's just green waste it's fantastic right i'm going to sign off um so take care everyone and i'll speak to you soon